welcome back. <laughs> Jeff was over here messing with my He-Man figure. I don't, I just, just, you don't have to, he's not to play with. He's just for decoration. Yes. Welcome back. When it comes to everything from clothing to home furnishings or toys, retro is big. And one new store in Northeast Minneapolis really specializes in cool retro finds from the 50s to the 90s, discovered across the U.S., even in Italy. It's called, and I love this name, Moth Oddities. Here's a tour via Kindle. Look at this. I'm really excited because not only do I love to shop and I love vintage, but we've been talking about this for over a year, I know. Yana. <laughs> Moth Oddities. I'm so happy for you guys. You actually are open in store. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's so exciting to finally be able to open and have people come in after a so year long. of signing the lease. And right. Being in here, just the two of us kind of building it out, taking the time to do it. But yeah, the point is to have people in and like interact with the clothes and try things on. Well, totally. So. <laughs> okay. You guys have been hunting down vintage stuff for a long time though. You're not like yeah. new to vintage, right? No, we've been doing moth out of these for seven years. So okay. yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, so this is a long time coming and then this stupid pandemic hit, like so many things yeah. that you converted. You decided instead yes. <laughs> that you were going to just sell stuff on your Instagram page. Yep, and that's what we've been doing anyway, so it wasn't like too much of a change up as it was, but yeah. then this space let us be able to see things on a bigger scale and also we could do curbside pickup with our customers and interact with more people face to face, which was nice, even though like we had to social distance still, but right. it was like, hey, thanks for buying that. Like, I'm so curious, A, how quickly does something go out the door? Like, your average item. Well, it's, it's hard to say because you just open. <laughs> I mean, like, literally, last night we posted something on Instagram and it sold within, like, one minute. So, it, if, if it's Instagram, that can be within minutes. Mm -hmm. If it's in the store, it can be the same day. It can also be, like, if it's a higher price item that's, like, demanding that, like, one person, that one perfect yeah. person for it, that could be a year. Right. But we want, like, we wait till we find that person because it's their story to continue it on. Anytime somebody walks in here, it's going to look a little different. Every time that you walk in, there's going to be new items. Yeah. We're getting new stuff every week. We have a bunch of inventory that's not on the floor because, as you can see, it's pretty packed in here anyway. If you uh, like something, you better grab exactly, it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's like it might not be there just a day after. So. But you guys have really done a nice job of making it look um, curated, I think is like the best word to use. Yeah. We've been doing this for about seven years, so we've kind of refined a style. So we, we knew exactly what we wanted when we got into the space. Um, and we love how uh, color blocking kind of works with the inventory. Yeah. So I'm seeing that with the clothes specifically. Yeah, definitely. So items are organized by type. So there'll be blouses and dresses and t-shirts and everything. And then within that, kind of the color coordination and sizing. Uh, so you could be like, oh, I need, you know, a white blouse for an outfit or like I'm looking for a rad. Uh, band tee, so I'm gonna go straight to like the black t-shirts. So. I've specifically heard there's a jean den. Oh yes. The denim den? The a denim, denim den. den. Can yep. you bring me to the, the denim den? den? Of course, yeah. The denim the den. Yeah. Um, Cause I've never heard of one of those, so <laughs> I'm enchanted. Did you find me in hot pink in the denim den? I stick out like a solar thumb in here. <laughs> um, okay, even the clothing, the like changing rooms have denim in them. Yep. Why are you doing denim den? Just everything. I mean, denim is one of our best sellers yeah. and we love finding denim. It's one of the things that we search for constantly. Yeah. And we knew that we wanted to have a specific space that would just be like kind of enveloping you and be like, whoa, this is crazy. I have to ask, when I'm looking at all these jackets or any kind of item that's vintage, what are like a couple of tips to know that, hey, this is probably worth the investment. It's gonna be cool for a long time. Try everything on. Okay. Bring as many things in the changing room as you can. Just see like what kind of classic pieces that could work into your wardrobe, whether it be that perfect pair of jeans, that perfect denim jacket, or that summer dress that right. perfectly is like, that picnic, but also, you know, patio right. vibes and everything. Like I could wear it and my mom could wear it right. and it's gonna be cool forever. Absolutely, and the thing is about here, your mom might have worn the dress that we're selling, so. <laughs> Probably, my mom has great taste. <laughs> Love you, mom. I'm gonna be your jean jacket. It's the rule, if you wore it once, you can't wear it again. Mm. Yeah. Uh, okay, now I mentioned Italy. Yes. 
in the lead into that. Yes. How do they get stuff? I mean, how does that work? Okay, so they have a lot of their vintages, obviously, from right here in the yeah. States. That's so easier to curate. But back in the day, so they've been doing this for about a decade. They met a woman who was like, hey, I am in Italy now and I would love to send you things. So a lot of their stuff in there is really cool vintage Italian clothing, too. So kind of a funky thing that's different than everywhere else in the metro. Um, and I love it. I was telling Kendall during uh, the airing of the piece, uh, no offense to other stores, but sometimes you go in these like resale shops and it's just kind of a mess. Right. And it doesn't make shopping enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Their merchandising is is stellar. It's mm -hmm. really cool in there. Yeah, super well curated. Um, both Eric and I, after the piece, were like, can we shop for a little while? <laughs> Got yeah. a couple things. So. Got a couple things? Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. How about a roll? Did you get that Rolling Stone shirt? No, but I got the I got a really cool gopher hat and a cool necklace. Okay. Did you see anything like any Disney stuff in there for me? I'm sorry, I wasn't looking. Oh, wow. <laughs> I always look for stuff for you, but that's fine. To learn more about Moth Oddities, check them out online. Bloop. Their website is MothOddities.com. And if you missed this, you want to share it, help them out, you know, support local. We'll post this on the Jason Show Facebook page. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. Follow. Oh, see, look. Mickey Mouse right there. We'll be back after these words. Back in a moment.